G'day, welcome to Built by Dan. I'm Dan, and in today's episode, I'm taking a break from working on my GT40 kit car to work on this cool little project, so thanks to Sterling Kit. So this is known to be the smallest production V8 engine. It runs on nitro fuel and revs to approximately 10,500 RPM. So let's not waste any time. Let's get stuck into unboxing this engine and having a look at the various components. First off, we've got some basic tools. There's four different size Allen keys there and two different spanners. So basically like an Ikea flat pack, comes with the tools you need to be able to assemble it. And on top here, we have a couple of gaskets. So it looks like we've got some head gaskets there and a couple of others here, which I'm assuming might be for, for the oil pan, for the sump. Everything's packaged really nicely. It's obviously sitting inside this timber box and then all protected with these foam infills. And right on top here, we have the valve covers. Look at the quality of finish on that. That looks amazing. Nice and vibrant, bright red anodized finish. They look really good. Oh wow, straight into it. Here we go. Now obviously this is a, a fully functioning V8 engine, so no surprise that we have some pretty cool little pistons here. It's just amazing seeing all these little components. Crankshaft. air filter, so it'll mount on top of two carburetors, little starter motor, well, not really little, it's probably big compared to the size of the engine. Well now we're getting into the fun stuff, all the internals. So here we have the little rocker arms, the, uh, the camshafts here. Bunch of little bushes and things. Looks like some bearings as well. Got some more bearings. We've got our belt. That's our starter gear. And this one's our flywheel. It's actually got a fair bit of weight to it. Comes with a couple of containers with different bolts and it looks like uh, some different gaskets and things and clips and washers in there. And then these are the two carburetors. So these look great, look at those. So here we've got the heads. The detail and everything in there is phenomenal. Exhaust outlets here. We've got our valves. That's insane. Once again, the level of finish is amazing. It's, the paint finish is on, it's perfect. Everything's just so, so smooth. 
nicely cleaned around anywhere where there's a hole or a threaded section. Definitely say that that's finished to, to my standards. And there we have the, uh, the oil pan or the sump sit underneath. And they save the best bit to last right down the bottom. Here we have the main engine block. It looks like they've, uh, they've got the sleeves there for the, in the cylinders. Looks like the rings are already sitting in there as well. Again, just the finish, everything's painted nicely and then all sort of cleaned off and machined down to where it needs to be. Can't wait to start putting this together. I'm just amazed, like the level of finish, like there's no sort of swarf, there's no, there, there's just nothing. It's, everything's been cleaned up really nice. And then lastly, we have our little exhaust system complete with muffler. And that's it for the engine itself. When I say that's it, that is everything you need to build a running engine. Um, now, I don't have a lot of knowledge when it comes to engines. I've never built an engine before. I've barely worked on an engine. Uh, if you might have seen in my GT40 episodes, I've only just recently placed the engine into the chassis. Don't really know what I'm doing. I'm actually really excited to take on this little project and, and review this product for Sterling Kit because uh, it's actually going to help me and it's going to help build my knowledge in how an engine goes together and how all the different components work together to, to make an engine run. So moving on from the engine, Sterling Kit have also supplied what they call their generator kit. So the engine is the engine, but to be able to run it, you need some of these components. So we have fuel and coolant reservoirs. We have a little radiator here. It's a pretty cool little thing. It's actually metal. I thought it might've been plastic for a minute. That's pretty cool. It comes with its own little mounting brackets so that it can stand upright. Some hosing, different adapters, and then two of these little, let's call them the starter mode, the starters, uh, or your, your ignition. Um, they have four plugs that will connect onto the spark plugs, or in this case, glow plugs for this engine with the nitro fuel, and then connect to a battery on the other end to get it power. Now, no surprises here, there's eight of these, eight cylinders, and therefore these are the eight glow plugs, one for each cylinder to be able to start the engine. So just like a tiny little spark plug. Now there are a couple of other components that don't come in either of these kits, either the engine or the starter or generator kit, and that is the batteries to be able to power and start the engine. Uh, so I have purchased two little lithium batteries, just the, the small type that um, you would normally use in say like a little remote control car and also some nitro fuel. So I had to do a little bit of research. This engine runs on 20 to 25% nitro. So I've purchased some 25% nitro fuel. So there's an extra couple of dollars there to purchase that. So the only thing that's left is the instructions. Now the kit does not come with printed instructions, but there are instructions available online. So all you need to do is head to the Toyin website and they've got a, a whole download section. You do need to sign up for a free account to be able to access the instructions, um, but that's fairly straightforward. It's just email and setting up a password and you can get access to all the instructions for all their kit engines. So I'll jump onto my tablet and I'll show you what those instructions look like. I'm hoping they're a little bit more detailed than what I've got for my GT40.
Okay, so unfortunately I have quite an old tablet and I can't screen record, so I'm just going to have to resort to this. But this is the instruction manual, it's downloaded in a PDF format. It is available in Chinese or English, so I got the English one, obviously. Goes through a bunch of safety instructions, some diagrams with labelled components. This I really like. It actually labels and numbers every component within those foam packs. For easy reference later. And then it gets into the assembly. Now this looks really good. It looks like they've basically modeled in CAD uh, the di different components and that's what they've used to develop these instructions so as you can see all the parts are numbered so there's a quick number reference and then um, an exploded diagram of how those components go together I'm pretty impressed with them actually, step by step, just like a, I suppose a set of Lego or the like, or Meccano, back when I was a kid, playing with all that sort of stuff. Some pretty cool diagrams. I might just skip ahead to... Okay, so that's assembly done in the manual. It then goes on to setting up the engine ready to start it, glow plugs, fuel, fuel tank, power for the starters. Details there on operation and adjustment for timing belt, power supply, oil needle settings for the um, carburetors. That's actually really good. They provide quite a bit of detail there in order to be able to adjust the carbies. Different troubleshooting items when you're trying to start the engine. These are the general specs. So unfortunately they are in metric. I will look to try and do a rough conversion to Imperial and uh, put them up beside it. It's a really cool exploded view of the engine there. And then there's a list of all the components. So basically all those numbered components are then listed out at the end, identifying what each item is. So number 10 is a rocker arm and there are 16 of them. So it's got the quantity as well. So it's a really good reference, helps you to learn what the different components are, correct names, I know I quite often get a bit mixed up with different names of different components as I'm filming my episodes. So yeah, that's actually a, a really comprehensive manual. So now I'll just go through and give you a bit more of a uh, detailed look at some of these components. You can see there just the level of detail in those heads is really impressive. Pistons. So now what's it's left to do is to sit down and start assembling the engine. But that's what I'm going to cover in next episode. Now, if you've seen enough and you want to get yourself one of these engines, head over to the link. I'll provide it in the description below. 
go and pay Sterling Kit a visit and pick up one for yourself. There is also a discount code there, so be sure to use that and you'll get an extra 10% off. So as I said, next episode, I will be getting stuck into assembling this and looking at how well all the components actually bolt up together. They look great as they sit individually, but do they actually go together as you would expect? We'll find out next episode.